the syllabus I'm sharing to you right now, your syllabus. We are now on part eight. This is almost uh, the last part of our session of our GE4 class. And we will be talking about the mathematics of finance. So as expected, part of our lesson under this topic will be simple and compound interest. So for this afternoon, we will be dealing with the simple interest. So are you now ready? Ready, Natanan? We're going to start with a simple yes, interest. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for your response. Are you familiar with simple interest? Wala, sir. Oh? Wala mo na ano yes, simple interest. Sir. Pwede rin na ka-try na og pang Interest lang, sir. Loan na, sir. Loan. Wala. <laughs> Kana. Loan or kanang mag-borrow ka og money or if you are not the one borrowing the money, ikaw ang nagapabaro og money, then to earn, to be able to have an amount nga imuhang ma-earn because you have uh, let other people borrow your money. So na kay ipatong nga interest. So mo na siya ang concept sa simple interest which is also part of business math or mathematics of finance which is also existing in the real world. So, appeal siya sa GE4 because daghan ng mga tao, even kamo mga estudyante, nga na-involve into mga loans and uh, money. And, nice time, Rabana, sir. and this is also <laughs> part sir. of our financial literacy kay para dili punta mas scam, di ba? Kay there were mga pirato ka months sa una in the previous years. <laughs> nga, grabe nice kayo ang mga ko ano, mga tao nga daghan kay silag na earn. Pero kung unsa to kapaspas ang earning nila, mo po to kapaspas ka na nga wala ilang mga kwarta. So this is part of our financial literacy. Who can read the first part of simple interest? May I request uh, Havana? Sir. Yes, sir. Simple interest. Money is borrowed or loaned for many reasons. This process exists in the real world where we thrive. Where we thrive. Thus, as a citizen of this world, it is a requirement requirement for us to have the basic knowledge about the concept, concepts of business mathematics, also, also known as mathematics of investment to gain a deeper understanding about earning or paying interest and how these are cal calculated. This lesson discusses the concept of simple interest. Thank you so much, Ms. Havana, for reading the first part of our topic. So it's... Very much clear, di ba, na kailangan natin ng knowledge about business because we will be dealing with that today or I don't know, ang uban siguro sa inyo ha, I'm not sure. They are already dealing with money because that's part of their daily living. Katong na mga negosyo, di ba? And also, kamong, katong uban nga na plano para na mo yung mga knowledge daan karun pa lang. So this is part of our subject. So to be able to have a faster process in dealing with this kind of topic, it would be better if you will have your calculator. So do you have your calculators with you? Okay, we will be solving different problems about simple interest for this afternoon. So, kung sa man, naamoy calculator, kay lisod ka ayaw mag-solve o kanaganing manual, kay naamang guni mga daghang operations. Well, makakuha ka pong kagtamang answer, pero it will really take time so, mas okay kung naamoy calculator, ordinary calculator, or mas okay kung naamoy scientific calculator with you. Do you have questions so far? Our objectives are here for this afternoon. You should be able to, number one, define and understand the following terms which are part of simple interest concept. The meaning of simple interest. You also have the principal the time and the rate of interest. So our prob problems will revolve around these particular concepts. So there will be times nga simple interest ang gipangutana, na po'y principal ang gipangita, na po'y time, na po'y rate of interest. So we have to know kung unsa ni siyang mga elements sa simple interest. Second one is we should calculate the peso amount. Of course, we are living in the Philippines, so our Currency is in peso, so all the problems that we'll be solving will be in peso amount. That is interest using the simple interest formula. 
And the third one, still about calculation, we have to calculate the principal, the rate, time, as well as the amount of interest when the other three quantities are known. So, upat na sila ka quantity. Sa kaning upat, simple interest, principal rate, and the rate of interest, kaning upat na ay isa ang mawala ani. So, you, you should know how to derive from the formula to get the answer. Question so far? Claro ba? So I hope you have your calculators right now. Thank you for your response. Now, who can still recall the formula for the simple interest? Kinsa ang nakarecall? Katunaan ay mga idea. Sige, sige, Miss Ayop. You are recognized, Miss Ayop. Katung ko answer, katung na interest equals P, tong PRT, ba to? Correct. Very good. So, Miss Ayop can still recall the basics of simple interest. That is the very basic formula that we will use. I interest is equal to PRT. Katung dimension ni Miss Ayop mo to siya ang formula for the simple interest. That's it. I hope makita na ninyo. Simple interest is, kindly read the definition again. Let's have uh, Likonan. Noriella? Yes, sir. Simple interest is the amount paid by a borrower to a lender for the use of money at a given rate over a particular given time. It is usually associated with loans or investments which are short-term in nature. It is computed using this formula. Can you read the formula? Okay, sir. I or interest equals PRT. What's the meaning, sir? Okay, meaning is I is the simple interest. P is the principal. R is the rate of interest per period of time. Then, kailangan ang time ani should be in years. So sometimes it is expressed in percent or fraction. But then, T again, as I have mentioned, it should be in years. Time ni siya. So, kung months lang ang imuhang dimension sa problem, i-convert dito ni mo into years because naka-default naman ang kaning formula sa I is equal to PRT is in years. So, naadali ang legend, I is equal to simple interest. P, R, and T. So, klaro na. Thank you for reading. Again, Ms. Saliconan. Please take note of that formula because that will be used later during our problem-solving activity. So, that formula I is equal, P, is equal to PRT will only be used if the simple interest is, is the unknown in the problem. Kung nangutana siya, what is the amount of interest if blah, blah, blah. So, you can use that formula. I is equal to PRT. But kung ang ipangutana is what is the amount to be paid, what is the maturity value, so kung kana ang ipangutana, ang pasabot ana is pila daw imong bayaran. So dili lang kay katong kwarta nga imong gihiram ang imong gibayaran, kung dili apil ang interest, di ba? For example, nangutang ka og 10,000 sa imong amigo, just for example ni siya. So at the end of your, kung unsa yung sabot, at, at the end of one year ba, kailangan mo bayaran, 10,000 lang ba yung ibalik sa iya, ha? If you are involving simple interest. Dili. 10,000. Tubo na, tubo. Tubo pa siya. So, katong 10,000 ngayon mong gihiram mo, ito ang principal, plus the amount of interest, muna to siya ang final value or future value, also known as the maturity value, that stands for letter F. Muna siya ang second nga formula. F is equal to katong pila mong gihiram, that is the principal, the amount na imuhang gisugdan na gihiram, plus ang iyang tubo ang interest. So, F is equal to P plus I. Or, kung imuhang I, substitute ang imuhang I from the first formula that we had, I is equal to PRT. So, kung himoni mong PRT ning I diri, so the formula will now change. It will become F is equal to Kaning P, you will just copy, tapos na kay parenthesis, that will be multiplied. Ang P daw will be multiplied to 1 plus RT. So the product of your rate times time. So these are the formulas that we will be using to solve the problems about simple interest. 
So be sure to copy this formula kay para sa tong solving karon na amoy copy. Igo na lang ninyo i-substitute ang katong mga given values. Then using your calculator, you can get the correct amount or value kung unsa ang gipangutang gipangayo. So let's have the first problem. Kindly read the first problem before I reveal the solution. Let's Ako have... Na um, yes, Marco. Si Marco. Ay. <laughs> Wala siya gituyo, no? pero imo ang pangalan. Dilagan mo kung Marco sa kalibutan. Dila man kay ikaw. Sige, go ahead, Marco. Other, Marco, wanted in, Marco wanted to invest an amount of 50,000 for two years at a financial institution that gives a simple interest of 3% per year. How many will be how much? Marco, uh, how much will be Marco Marco's earning on his investment after the two years period? Thank you so much for reading the problem. So since we are now solving problems, balik ta puta atong polias method, di ba katong steps niya. First, we have to understand the problem. Second is magplano dayon ta kung unsa tong himuon ani, unsa nga formula ang gamiton. Third is i carry out ang plan, i solve na nato. Then finally we can check our answer kung tama ba siya. So you have to perform again the steps. First question is, nasabtan ba ninyo na understand ba ang problem? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Naglibo pang uban ang uban kay nakuha lang nila so you can start solving. Katong uban is nalibo pa sila. You can actually translate that in Bisaya. Si Marco nag-invest siya. So nag-invest siya, pasabot ani na asya'y earning nga ma kuha. Aha man iya hang kwarta o sa man ang amount yang gisugdan. So that's 50,000 pesos. Pila ka tuig na i-invest? Two years. At a financial institution. So this can be a bank or sa co-op ba niya, cooperative, something na nag-earn imong money. So pila daw ang earning, ang rate, that's 3% per year. So ang katong mga given, unsa man tong 50,000 pesos? Bal time principal rate, princip very good that's the principal ang 2 years very obvious it's the time the 3% per year is interest the rate 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 of interest so ang question karon is how much will be marcos earning on his investment after the 2 year period so how much will be the earning so unsay pasabot unsay gipangayo niya ang earn nga interest so what is now the formula to be used? Kay ang earning lang magipangayo. How much will be the earning? Pila lang may tubo. So interest. So what is the formula to be used? So since nasulat naman mo ang mga given, P is equal to 50,000 pesos, rate is 3%. 3% can be converted to decimal. Kaya para sa mong calculator, Idiretso na ni mo press dito ang value sa 3%. 3% is equivalent to 0 0.03. Kaya kabalo naman tayo mo convert o percent to decimal, di ba? Kabalo na ba tanan mo convert from percent to decimal? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, two places to the left lang ka. So kung 3, mag-move ka two places. Ganon two places man? Kaya right. percent means per 100 man ang percent. Percent means per hundred. So, ang sa hundred, di ba doon ka zero? So, two decimal places na siya ang pasabot ana. So, that is why ang three percent, mag-move ka two places to the left, na siya ay point tapos zero three. So, applying the formula, imong i-substitute sa PRT, so na nakay P, which is 50,000 pesos, rate point zero three, time two. So, i-multiply ni mong tulo, what is the result? 3,000 ba? Ang may mga answer dito sa ito ang chat box. 3,000 ay 53,000 ay 3,000 ay 5,000 ay 30,000. So you have different answers. The correct answer is just 3,000 pesos. O ba kinanubra o zero? So the first one to get the correct answer based dito sa ito ang chat box is si Miss Ayop. So, Miss Ayop will get the additional point. The same rule applies since we are solving. The first student to give the correct answer 
will earn additional points for the recitation. So, paningkamot jud mo kay hapit ang moment ang klase kay para mabawi po din yung inyong other exercises. Questions for the first problem. Pato nag-answer og 53,000 pesos, that could be correct if the question is how much will be the amount that will be given back all in all katong principal plus interest. Pero that is not the question. Ang question is how much will be the earning lang man. So earning also refers to pila ang iyahang tubo. So pila ang interest. So ang pasabot ani interest ay gipang, gipangita, gipangayo. Masabtan ba ang first problem? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's proceed to the second example. I will read the problem so that everyone will start solving. And again, the first one to give the correct answer will earn additional points for the recitation. Find the interest on a loan of 1,000 pesos if the rate is 12% for one year. So one year, actually, dagani siya mga gipangayo dari, pero one year sa lang ang gipangayo na to. Kung one year, pila daw ang interest. So, klaro na, gibutan na dito, find the interest. So, what is the unknown? What is ask? Interest. So, there are a lot of students na naghatag nag-answer. Ay, naghatag o 120, na po naghatag o 130. Let's check. Before I reveal the answer, we also have letter B. For two years and three months, kane. The try gya pa nyo answer ko makuha ba ninyo? For two years and three months. So what will you do right now? Kung nana siya yung months ka na include. That's the definition nato ganina sa time sa katung letter T. Dapat years lang daw siya. So, please try. Any answer? Let's reveal now the answers. Anyway, makita naman ako sa chat box ang mga answer ninyo. For letter A, find the interest on a loan of 1,000 pesos if the rate is 12% for one year. So, diretso lang yung ang on given. 1,000 is the principal. The rate is 12%. 12% in decimal is 0.12. Okay, two decimal places to the left. And then one year, that's only one, ang T. So, that's 120 pesos only. So, ang earning ni mo for one year is 120 pesos lang siya. Ano man, gamay lamang po ang principal, 1,000 pesos. The first one, na nagatag answer is Samson. While for letter B, for letter B, the time is two years and three months. So, this is how to convert months into years. Ang uban siguro na idea. So, it's T is equal to 2. Ang 2 is in, already in years. Ang 3 months na i-convert ni mo. So, how are you going to convert that into years? Since there are 12 months in a year, so, i-divide mo ang 3 divided by 12. Okay, para makuha ni mo katong fraction or katong decimal, mo to siya ang part na year. So, in other words, ang kaning 3 months is equal to 1 fourth year or 0.25. So, you may use 2.25 in solving. So, i-substitute up ni mo ang PRT. You have 1,000 times 0.12 times. This time, you will use 2.25. So, the correct answer is 270 pesos. I will check sa ito ang chat box kung nabay nakakuwag 270 pesos. Kadorna got the correct answer. Ms. Kadorna, I would like to hear the voice of Ms. Kadorna. Yes, sir. How did you get the answer? Kuan, lahi ako ang kuan, sir, okay. kung process. Okay, yung sa nimo? Kuan, three months masya, sir, no? Then, ang one year is na ay, three, six, nine, na ay, upat, ay, bali, upat ka, three months ang naa sa isa katuig, sa Correct. 12 months. So, ang 120, ang one year, gidivide lang na siya, kuan, sir. Four? 
Diba? Okay. Tapos giad na ko. Tapos ang 120 sa 1 year, times 2 na ko. Then giad na ko itong 14 months na 30. Then muna ito sa purpose. Very good. So, gimans ni mo ang 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 baliktad po niya ha gimans niya iyahang mga years pero gi-divide niya 12 tama ba miss ano kay there are 12 months in one year yes, nakuha yes, gyapon niya ang answer so the same gihapon ang iyahang gigamit na formula i is equal to prt pero the computation of the time is gibaliktad niya gimans niya pero since kailangan i-convert into years ang katong iyang conversion sa number of months I divide niya into 12. Nag-gets ninyo? Okay, again, ang T, balik tayo dito sa first nga presentation, sa first part, T must always be expressed in years. Nag-gets ninyo? Napin ako kung yes, other answer, pero ang first one ang ako ang ginakuha. Let's have the third example. A credit union has issued a three-year loan of 50,000 pesos at a rate of 10%. What amount will be repaid at the end of the third year? So I will not tell you kung unsa ang gipangutana, gipangayo, gare. Magulat ko sa inyong answer before I reveal to you kung unsa ang gipangayo, gare. Kung unsa po ang tamang answer. So na una nag naghatag og answer we have liboon 15,000 tapos gi change sa yang answer into 65 Okay let's see Kay murag halos pareho na lang mag-answer ang uban 15,000 15,000 And only siguro si Liboon ang naghatang og 65,000. Let's see kung tama ba ninyo ang perception about this one. The question mang good again is what amount will be repaid? Ang pasabot ani pila iyahang ibayad. So again, kung mangutang ka og 50,000 pesos, for example, tapos mutubo man siya no. Pila imong ibayad? Kato lang bang ding tubo nga amount? Kato lang ba yung interest yung mong bayaran? Malipay ba yung mong giutangan nga yung, for example, ang tubo kay 15,000? 15,000 na yung mong ibayad sa iya, ha? Include na ang capital. Principal, sir. Included na ang capital or ang principal. So, pila man na siya. Kung saan man ang ipangayo, Dere, ang I or ang F? F. F. Very good. So, part again of solving the problem is to understand it. The problem again is asking for the amount to be repaid. So, imong bayaran at the end of the term. So, it requires us to solve not only the I but also the plus P pa, so F. So, it requires us to solve for the maturity value or the future amount F. So, kung gamitin to natong formula nga F is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus RT, Then, makuha na ito ang tamang answer. Pwede put ka itong isa nga, F is equal to P plus I. Pwede gahapon ito siya. Either way, the correct answer is 65,000 pesos. And Marco Libuon, tama ba? Siya ba itong nakauna? Yes, sir. Got the first answer na tama. Congratulations. So, nasabtan doon ninyo ang problem, no? Walay pangutana about this one. How to calculate, how to transform the 10%. Wala na yung mga questions about ano yung very simple lang mo na siya, no? But if you have question, you please raise your hand kay para ato ang ansiran. So since wala man, let's proceed to the next problem. So wala yung nang pangutan ha, ang 10% is equal to just 0.1 kay nag two decimal places to the left mang ka. Then, kung mag-calculate ka again, unahon ni mo multiply ni nasa sulo, then plus 1, then ang answer ay multiply sa 50,000. That's why you got 65,000 pesos. Mas lisod kung wala ka calculator, no? Pero kung naka calculator, dali ra ang pag-answer. Even cell phones, pwede nyo gamitin na may calculator. Let's have number 
at the end of two years, 36,000 pesos interest was paid on an 18% simple interest loan. How much was borrowed? So, lahi po na pang utana How much was borrowed? So, I will give you time to analyze as to solve. If you have the answer, please send your answer in our chat box. First answer is given by Ms. Razel. Mr. Sir. I'm sorry. Nakalimot ko lalaki, but then si Masalai no. Mr. Masalai. According to him, the answer is 12,960. Razel, man, good. Naman ay J. Marco said it's 36,000 pesos. How about the others? How much was borrowed? When we say how much was borrowed, what is the unknown? Piladaw angi hiram. So the amount borrowed refers to the principal. The amount borrowed, the principal is being asked the problem. So Pangutana karo na abay given formula ganina ang principal. Yes. Gikan siya sa I is equal to PRT. Do you know how to derive the formula? Kabalo ba mo derive? Kay part mo na siya sa inyo ang simple or basic algebra, di ba? I is equal to PRT ang given nga formula for interest. Di ba ang P ani kay principal man. So, kung ang principal ang unknown, imo ang i-derive ang formula. So, ang katong R o T nga katapad sa P, imo siyang i-divide both sides or imo siyang ibutang sa ilalom sa I kaya para mawala siya. So, para masolve ang value sa P, the formula is P is equal to I divided by RT. Let's see kung ay nakakuha aning answer. Or kung wala ni mo nakuha ang formula, pwede man po ni mo i-substitute na lang diretsyo ang katong I, ng 36,000 pesos. By the way, ang 36,000 pesos dedicated, this is not the principal. This is the amount of interest. Kaya gibutang sa problem, at the end of two years, 36,000 interest. So, gispecify niya ang kanyang 36,000 interest ni siya. So, that will be substituted to, to I, while two years will be substituted to T, and 18% or 0.18 will be substituted to R. So kung na kay igipang substituted to, ang P na lang imo ang ipangita. So you can divide 36,000 divided by the product of 0.18 times 2. Therefore, pila iyang gihiram. You verify kay para mahibalan ninyo kung 100,000 ba yun ang result. Because nobody said 100,000. Wala'y nakakuha o tamang answer. Hindi eh. Sige, verify ninyo. 36,000 divided by 0.18 times 2. Tama, sir. If you have your calculator. 100,000, di ba? Yes, sir. Then, imuha na po siya. Pwede mo niyo i-check na po kung 36,000 ba yun ang interest ani. So, ang 100,000, i-multiply na po ni mo o katong, ang isolve na po ni mo kay ang interest na po siya. So, 100,000 times 18% ang rate times 2. So, i-mo na pong isolve ka ron is I is equal to PRT na ay kailangan ang gawas ng value sa I kay 36,000. So, i-check ni mo. Checking na ni 100,000 times 18% times two years. 36,000 ang mugawas, di ba? So it means the balance siya, so our answer is correct. It's indeed 100,000 ang iyahanggi hiram. Question so far, we have four problems already. Now let's have the fifth problem since uh, walay mga nag-raise og hand. Number five, a 5,000 peso savings account Earned 700 pesos interest in two years. Now, what was the rate of interest given? 
So rate of interest is the unknown. So how are you going to solve for that? According to Marco, it's 3.5%. And he's the first one to give an answer. 7% according to Dabalos. Some more answers. 35% from Carpentero. Hmm, the change into 3.5, 3.6, 2.8, and many other answers. Again, the question is what was the rate? So the unknown is R. How are you going to solve for the value of R? So kung i-derive na po mo ang formula, from I is equal to PRT, unsay dagway sa formula karun. Kung R na ang ipangayo. So let's check the solution. 5,000 pesos is the principal. That's the savings. Muna ang kwarta niya ay hanggi patubo. 700 pesos is the amount of interest. As mentioned in the problem, earned 700 pesos interest. So that's I. Two years is the time. R is the question mark or the unknown. So if that is the, the unknown, you derive the formula. So you will have R is equal to I divided by PT or I divided by the product of principal and time. So ang nitabuan ni Ang kanina pong katabad sa R nga PNT, ang imuhang gi, balhin na po gi-divide sa I para ma-solve ang R. So if we will substitute again all the values, I is 700, P is 5,000, T is 2. So you will have 700 divided by 5,000 times 2. Therefore, the correct answer is 0 0.07. And again, its rate, imuha na po siyang it turn, i-convert into percent. So kung ganina ang percent to decimal, ato ang i-move two places to the left, di ba? So karon para mabutan siya ang percent ng symbol, ato na po siya i-move two places to the right. So 7.07 .07 is equal to 7%. So the correct answer is actually given by the first one, Dabalos. I want to hear the, the voice of Dabalos. At first, how did you get 7%? At 5.06 p.m., your answer is 7%. After the answer of Liboon, how did you get 7%? Pre, naga nagkuwanda niya po ko ito pre, pag-solve mo ito sa una, sir ba? Sa, so, sa gisunda na question. Are you sure? Pero nga nung gichange man nito, after ito. mga few seconds lang, hindi mo gichange yan ito 3.5. Why? Mag... Ah, basta sir. Ah, so I'm not convinced very much sa iyahang explanation no? So I would like to ask again another person who got the correct answer, Samson. Samson, are you sir. there? How did you get yes, 7%? Sir. Gi concern ang ita ko ka lang agi divide na ko daan ng 700 divide to kay 2 years man. Correct. So Tapos. 350. Tapos na, na, nangita ko percent sir nga i divide sa ay times sa 5000 ngay sir nga ang answer kay 350. So nakita din ako 7%. Very good. For that, you got the correct answer and you earned the point. Si Kuan Mangod, do nakuha, thank you. Do nakuha ni Dabalos ang yang answer ganina, pero it changed Mangod niya and the explanation is not very detailed. The guess si mo Mr. Dabalos, so dapat detalyado yun ang explanation kay para makuha yun na to or makonvince yun ta that you are the one who give the answer. Okay. Basig narin yung hong hong sa imuha diha og answer ba? And then, 
dili maklaro ang explanation, so sayang ang point. How about the others? Do you have any questions about this problem? Ang unknown kay rate. Sir! <laughs> sir! Pagagunta ka to eh. Mas lay? Gipiste nga lang ko sir ba sir, ka ng 700 divide 5,000 sir, ang nigawas kay 0.14. Yeah, gitimes da ko sa 2 years sir. To dili mo na, dili. Dili na, Lan toon. Dili dapat, di, dapat kwa on sa ni mo ang 5,000 times 2, kaya naman siya sa baba. Ay, gipiste nga lang. Ay, gipiste nga lang. Dili mo na ay natuon pag solve kay malikman ka ang 2, kaya naman siya sa baba. Diba nasa Ay, sa baba? Ay, ko, sir. Yeah, Pariyam ko ang nigawas, good sir. 700 divided by 5,000, imuhang gikuan. So, times 14. Two. Times 2. 0.28 man kung i-times 2 ni mo. I-divide pa ni mo itong 2. Ay, divide ay tama, sir. 700 divide. divided by 5,000 is 0.14. Uh, since ang 2 na sa baba, diba? So, i-divide na po ni mo 2. Yes, so, sir. Then, that is correct. Tama to kung so Tama sir. to yung gihimo Mr. Maslay. Pero Ah, uh, lagi. Tama to ako sir, pero lahi mo ng formula good. Okay lang. Okay ra. So sir. pwede ni mula, pwede man lagud lahi imo hang nag formula nga nagamit. Kaya kani akong gipakita mangud kay gi-derive na mangud din ako. Pwede man ninyo dili i-derive ang formula. Pwede man katong uh, i is equal to PRT gihapon yung gamiton. Bula lang yung gikuha ang R, ipadayon lang ni mog solve and then later butang ni mo R is equal to 7%. Okay la. Okay ra anyway, sa paper ang pangayuan nato is ang final answer lang man. I will not ask for your detailed solution. Ah okay sir, salamat sir. Okay. You're welcome. Any other questions? Nasabtan ni sa uban no? I hope so. Okay, this will be the content part of the content of your final examination. Number 6. <laughs> Rika needs 20,000 pesos to buy office furniture for her new office. She wants to pay an interest of 1,100 pesos only. If the bank charges 11% interest rate, how long must Rika pay her obligation? Well, the question is how long? So please answer this. One year, according to Davalos. How about the others? So the unknown here, how long man siya? It's actually years or time. Time, pwede po siya months or years. Depende kung, kung sa inyong makuha ang answer for after solving. Basta ang unknown ani is T. So we have one year, na po nag-answer of six months, na po combine one year and six months, na two years. Let's see kung kisa sa ilaha ang nakakuha tamang answer while others are also giving their answers. One year and ten months, two years, and so on. So here we have the solution. First is to identify the given. What is 20,000 pesos here? That's the principal. Moto yung hanggamiton ng kwarta. Then, kailangan daw mutubo siya interest of 1,100. So that's I. Gusto niya 1,100 lang ang tubo sa yahang 20,000. Ang charge sa bank is 11%. So 11% is the rate that is equivalent to 0.11 kung decimal. How long? So it's very clear that the unknown is T. So you can... Continue solving using I equals to PRT or you can also derive the formula. Kung yung i-derive ang formula sa T, T is equal to I divided by PR. So interest divided by the product of principal and rate. So now let's substitute para may balan to kung kisa na kakawag tamang answer. 1,100, our I, will be divided by the product of 20,000 times 11% or 0.11. Solving that, we will have 0.5. So, diba T is time and 0.5? And time, 
is expressed in years. So when we say 0.5 year, unsay pasabot anang 0.5. Katunga sa isa ka tuig. Six months. Very good. So it's six months. So I can see nga ang pinakauna nga nagkuha, naghata og six months, and I think wala na nagsunod, is Cardorna Aljane. Can I hear the voice of our Jane? Aljane, Aljane. Yes, sir. Congratulations, answer, you got the correct answer. How did you get your answer? So answer, 20,000, you multiply na ko siya og kuan 11%, then ang result is 2,200, then ang, ang expected lang man niya nga interest, sir, kay 1,100, so gidivide ko na, gidivide ko na lang na ko siya. Then, niningawas is? Kuan, mano to, ang kuan, sa ito yung question, ay, nakalimot ko. How long? Kuan siya, ang, ang ibali, Ang bangayo bang ang kuan ba no ang interest is per year rabaya then ang gawas man sa kanang akong result is 2200 so we divide na ko siya to bali 2200 kung one year ng interest charge tapos 1100 man ang expected ng interest so pasabot one half a year lang tong ako an very good so she got the the point can explain niya og tarong so pwede din mo gamiton di ay imuhang your own solution imuhang understanding pero dapat tama tama ang understanding ni Miss Cadorna so that is why even though lahi ang iyang process sa pag-solve kay gi-multiply man niya wala nya gi-divide sa 100 well, sa 1100 ang katong products sa 20000 og 11 pero nakuha niya ang concept gitunga-tunga niya so that is why nakuha niya ang 6 months so katong mga naglibog you just look at the solution here that is how to solve for that problem Derive the formula, substitute, then use your calculator correctly, then press the numbers, then you can get the correct answer. 0.5 year is just equivalent to 6 months. Question so far? Now let's have more problems. We are now on number, the next one. Exercises, Anisha. Number one. Before I reveal the answer again, solve this and give your answers the chat box. The first student to get the correct answer will receive additional points. Kamu na ibasa sa problem ha kay lumbaan na Number two. Okay, time is up. Only four students were able to send their answers. Cut-off time is 5.19. So I will read the pr problem para makasinabutanan. A student loan of 1,500 pesos at 3% was repaid at the end of three years. How much interest did he pay? So it's very clear nga, ang lang kay interest. Ang loan ng 1,500 pesos represents the principal. 3% is very obvious. It's the rate. 3 years is the time. So P equals 1,500. R equals 0 0.03. That's 3%. T is 3. So I is the unknown. I is equal to PRT. The correct answer is 135 pesos. The first student to give 135 pesos is a the answer is Liboon. Congratulations, Mr. Liboon. Thank you, Pep. Okay. So, daga nag na earn nga points si Liboon karon ni makatabang pa na sa yahang grado para mag increase. Kaya happy na mahuman ang atuha ang GE4 na subject. Still have time. I think this will be the last problem before we end. An interest of 700. 20 pesos was paid on a 3,000 peso simple interest loan. 
at the end of one year and six months, what was the rate of interest charged? Go. So, na kay gibutang one year and six months. So, dapat pa-convert na nimo into decimal nga year dapat. Some more answers. Be careful with your solution. I'm still waiting for the correct answer. Pwede mo niyo i-check yung answer. Yung mo hang ibalik, ganit siya. Igamito niyo ang I equals PRT. Solve niyo karoon ang P times R times T. Dapat ang mong gawas is katong amount of interest. And in this problem, the first phrase, an interest of 720 pesos, that is the interest, will give you the amount of interest. So I think mora to ang mohatagong answer. So, nag-vary lang siya sa 4%, 3.6%, and 1.38. Tulo lang kabuok answers ang gihatag ninyo. How about the others? Naabay nakakuwag tama, ani? Let's observe the solution. The amount of interest is given in the first part of the first sentence. That's 720 pesos. Nakalabel na siya daan. Therefore, the 3,000 pesos na simple interest loan is your principal. And one year and six months is actually equivalent to 1.5 years. Tama ba? Kaya ang six months is katunga man sa katuig. So, kung i-convert ni mo ang one year and six months into year, that is equivalent to 1.5. R is the unknown because the question is what what was the rate the rate of interest charge? So, balik taka tong formula ganina. Recall na to to. R is equal to o pwede pa niyong gamit nung ani I is I divided by P times T. So it's 16 percent. And nobody got the correct answer. I was waiting for 16% or 0.16. Ah, na naghatag. Pero na, na, napakita na na ko ang solution, no? It's Miss Ayop. Miss Ayop, are you there, Miss Ayop? Yes, sir. Tama, tara to ko ang answer ga na itong wala pa ni mong gikuan ang solution. Nagbaduha oh. lang po. Okay. But anyway, since you have the Prior knowledge right now. Next time, ayun nagkaulaw, diretso doon hatag sa answer. Anyway, tama yung mong answer. Pero sayang, nahatag na muna ko ang solution the moment nag-iputang po na iyang answer. But anyway, you got the correct answer. Questions from the students, from the others? Answer. Klaro ba sa inyuha ang simple interest? This is part of our final examination. Our next lesson after this is the compound interest and that is the last lesson to be discussed before we'll have our final examination so i will now stop presenting and stop recording as well